Well, Samsung has held its biggest gadget launch of the year so far, unveiling a new range of foldable phones and new wearable products such as a health ring. Joining us live now from Paris is tech expert and EFTM editor Trevor Long. Trevor, uh, good to see you this evening, your time. So Samsung has announced its latest foldable phone. So tell us about them. Yeah, foldable phones is uh, a market that Samsung owns, essentially. They've been doing them for many, many years. This is the sixth generation uh, flip phone. So this is the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. And the foldable is also the sixth generation Fold 6. Now, these are improved in many ways, thinner and lighter and all those things we expect and an unbelievably better camera on this flip model. But also, Pete, they've brought AI into play here. So uh, Apple obviously launched Apple Intelligence only a couple of months ago. Samsung had... Galaxy AI in January in their smartphones. So they've brought that now to this level phone. So a whole range of things like writing assistance, language translations, all built into the phone, uh, really giving them that AI advantage at this point. Mm. Geez, things have come away from those old flip phones. Trev, is Samsung the only company doing them these days? No, look, in the, in the large foldable space, it's really just Samsung. In this flip form factor, there is one other Motorola doing this. Uh, but in Australia, it's, it's Samsung for the absolute dominance. Motorola are chasing a, a distant second, but do great things. They've got beautiful phones. Obviously, Samsung just has the scale and power of their marketing that gives them that advantage. Oh, that's so great to talk to you this morning in Paris. Uh, good evening, uh, evening where you are. Just that, that, uh, that bright tower behind you. I don't know what it is, but it's just annoying me. Uh, now, anyway... Um, <laughs> You've got the Olympics coming up very soon. The Olympic rings will be dominating everywhere. Now Samsung has got its own ring. Yeah, this is a really great initiative to have the event here in Paris because of the Olympic rings. But the Samsung Galaxy Ring, Pete, is a wearable health tracking device. So just think of literally a ring on your finger. I've worn it. It's about, about three grams, so it's not a heavy thing. Mm. It feels like any other ring. In fact, lighter than, than most rings. But it will track your activity, your heart rate. For women, it will track their cycle. This means that you can wear the Galaxy Ring to bed and get great data the next day on how you're sleeping. And most uh, you know, people say in the health space that sleep is the biggest indicator of your next day's health. So the Galaxy Ring will hopefully come to Australia this year, no confirmation on that. Three ninety nine in the US. My guess, six forty nine, six ninety nine in Australia. So it is a stretch, given you can buy a smartwatch for five hundred odd dollars. Yeah. But yeah, a so, ring that has a seven day battery and manages your health. So I mean, some people, probably not all people, but but there's a lot of people out there who'd be aware of the Aura rings. I mean, how different are they to this Samsung ring? Yeah, I, I, the Aura is really the only other player in this market. I've, I've had a little look at that. I think it's a bulkier and, and heavier ring. I believe there's a subscription involved. There's no subscription here. And really, this is an ecosystem play, Pete. There are millions of people with Samsung Galaxy smartphones. Well, now they can pair their ring. So, for example, if your alarm's going off, you can just tap your fingers together and turn the alarm off. Mm. If you've got a, a camera set up to take a photo, just tap your, tap your fingers together and it'll take the mm. photo, as well as all that health data feeding into the smartphone for you. I had... Uh... I had one of those Aura rings for a bit there a couple of years ago and I just uh, I found that there was too much data. I was, I was waking up and I was just getting too obsessed. I needed to give it a rest. Um, uh, just finally, uh, we've got to wrap it up now, but should Apple be concerned about any of this, Trev? I think the ring is, is the best challenge to Apple's, anything Apple's got because there is nothing in the Apple ecosystem that allows you to manage your health without wearing a watch to bed. So, yeah, on, this, on that front, uh, Samsung has the advantage.